Uh, we're going to learn how to put together the camera so that you can take pictures of specimens. So first when you come in, you're going to plug everything up. So there will be two plugs over there that you'll plug in for the battery for the camera and then the battery for the laptop. And then after that, you want to set the camera up. I think it's easier to kind of put the battery in before you put it on the stand. So just open that up. You have to make sure that the cord is kind of behind this part so that it's out of the way when you're trying to close it. And then after that, there's a hole at the bottom of the camera that goes into this screw. And when you're putting it on, you want to make sure that this is towards the back of this little platform. So you have to kind of look low so you can see where it is. And then once you have it, you can just screw it on. And once you have that, you can just place the flashes on the clay molds. And you want to make sure that this flat part of the flash is parallel to the side of the box. Okay, and then after that, you want to put the flashes in and plug in the flat, the stack shot. So you can just plug that in once you take that out. And then open this up. And when you're putting in the batteries, there's a little diagram at the top that shows you what side of the battery goes into what spot. And then after that, you want to open up these little compartments and plug this cord into this side to help the stack shot control the camera. And then plug this cord into this side so that when you take the pictures, it'll be able to upload to the camera, to the laptop. And that's it. Okay, make sure that the USB is connected to the camera and computer through this wire here. Once that is connected, then you want to open up the EOS utility software and then click the camera settings slash remote shooting option. Once this window opens, you want to press the live view shoot button. And then you want to press this top left corner button on the camera. Now you're able to see the specimen not only on this but also on the computer. So now what you want to do is make sure that the specimen is fits within this box or screen. So uh, you play with it by moving it, moving the base of the camera forward and back. If you move it forward, it zooms in and it makes the specimen larger. And if you move back, you'll see the specimen shrinks. As you're moving it back and forth, you'll see that it goes in and out of focus. That's okay. First you just want to make sure that it's inside the screen, all of the specimen. And then once it's there, you can zoom in and out by turning the lens of the camera. If you turn it to the right, it zooms in. If you turn it to the left, it zooms out. So now it just comes to playing with it until it becomes focused and everything's in the screen. Good. Once the B is in focus, then you want to go to the stack shot assembly control panel and then you want to change the distance and steps. So uh, this chart here shows how far this distance and step needs to be compared to the relative magnification. So if you look at the, cam uh, the magnification, 
it's almost at 2x. So that means that it should be roughly 250 microns or micrometers. So from here you go and change this number to 250. So in order to move down a step, you have to press select and then it just circles through the, all the options. And then in order to actually change an option to go up a number or down a number, that's where the up and down buttons come into play. And now we want to go down all the way until it goes to 250. Okay, now that it's at 250, we want to press select so it goes down. And now we have to select the start and end positions. So in order to uh, select the start and end positions, you want to make sure you're looking at the screen here to see when the specimen gets out of view. So you press forward and the rail will start moving the camera forward all the way until the specimen is just out of focus, but all parts of it is out of focus. And then once it's out of focus, you want to press up on the stack shot to make it go to the next option which is select end position and then you want to press back on the stack shot on, which moves the rail all the way back until the specimen is back into focus and then it keeps going back out until the thing closest to you is just out of focus as you can see the wing is the last thing to be in focus and it just got out of focus that tells you to stop and once that is all done you want to press up once and then make sure it's on the up slash down to start option and then press forward and you want to go forward all the way until it's roughly halfway in between so like until the majority of it is in focus and then you want to take a practice shot in order to do a practice shot we have to put the lid on which is Sam's specially designed lid. Um, this lid is designed so that this symbol here, the line that goes straight down, has to line up with this hole right here on the flash. And you want to make sure that it's now center of the box within the camera. So then you press shutter in order to take a practice shot. As you can see, once you press shutter, the picture will come up here. And if it's too light or too dark, you want to go to the flash settings, press the select slash set button, and then press the minus to go to lower the flash or plus to higher the flash settings. And then you want to keep taking practice shots until it actually looks like a really good picture. And this is an okay picture compared to this picture where there's too much light here. Now, once we have a picture it's like flash setting and how it looks that we like, then you're ready to start the picture taking process, which the stack shot will do for it by itself. So all you have to do is make sure you're on the up slash down to start option and press up. The camera will move itself to the start position and then it will take all the pictures that it needs to take. And it will pop up automatically in this software called the Digital Photo Professional, which is essentially a gallery of all the pictures it takes. Oh, and while it's taking a picture, um, the stack shot will tell you what number photo it's taking out of how many it needs to take. So as you can see this run is 40 pictures and now it's on picture number 5. And so there should be 40 pictures in this gallery for this one specific shot. And that's it.